Since Wisconsin's safer-at-home order was challenged by Republicans and struck down by the state Supreme Court, local health orders were to have been the replacement. But one county executive says that's not working. Winnebago County Executive Mark Harris said, quote, We've run into significant opposition from the local Chamber of Commerce, our conservative assemblyman, WMC, the local Republican Party, and community members that don't believe the health officer should have any enforcement powers. Mark Harris joins us this week, and uh, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me on, Frederica. So you have seen how Dane County has imposed and Milwaukee County is looking at imposing uh, mandates on mask wearing in addition to other distancing and capacity orders. Would you like to be able to impose those same kinds of health orders in your county? We have no pressing need to do any sort of order at this point in time. But what we discovered is that our code won't support enforcement of any order. So you've got this situation where the state legislature, through the Senate leader, Mr. Fitzgerald, is saying, we will not take any action with regard to COVID-19. We'll rely on the local health officers. But nearly all the counties have health officers who clearly have the authority to give health orders but that don't have language in their county codes to be able to enforce them. So we can't, we can't make any order enforceable. Why, why aren't those orders in your, in your codes? I suspect all the counties had model codes and only the very largest counties drafted their, their own from scratch. So I believe nearly every county has the same defect in their code. And all we wanted to do is, by resolution, add language out of uh, the state statutes 252.03. We wanted to pull language out of there that's, that's been out there for decades and put that in our county code. And we ran into stiff opposition from people that view any authority in a health officer as some sort of encroachment on their freedoms. And yet, isn't that exactly what was envisioned uh, following the state's Supreme Court ruling. That seems to be what, what they had in mind. I mean, the legislature and the governor could have come together and reached some sort of compromise. And in fact, the legislature initially asked for six days to put something in the stay-at-home order's place. And Judge Rogensack, in a dissent to her own majority opinion, said that they should have given a six-day transition period. And that's when our county discovered we tried to put that six-day period in to allow them to work together and to substitute something for the stay-at-home order. And that's when we discovered we didn't have enforcement powers. So we had to withdraw that the very next day that we issued it. What are your concerns about uh, the point at which you might need those kinds of orders? Well, to get something through a county board and have it added to our code, it's a lengthy process. And if we wait till some action has to be taken urgently, it's not gonna be there on time. And, and the type of action that I think might occur here, uh, there might be need for a surgical order. There might be a tattoo parlor where one of the tattoo artists is infected and they're not responding to our advice to them to not allow that artist to work. Well, that's a case where our health director could issue an order that would be enforceable and we could shut them down or force that artist not to operate. And that's just one example, a hypothetical. But the way it is now, we can suggest that they not let that artist operate, but we really can't stop them. And what, that could be true of any that? number. Yeah, could be true of any number what of situations. The what about the argument, though, uh, on the part of uh, people who might be offering some of this pushback, uh, that they have concerns over, quote, shuttering the economy, as uh, Senator Fitzgerald said, about these kinds of uh, public health orders? Definitely there's a trade-off between rules that protect health and rules that impact the economy. And, and quite frankly, I would advise against any additional general shutdown unless uh, the situation became absolutely horrific. But if you don't do this type of shutdown, you're facing a disaster. 
Is the Wisconsin Counties Association able to offer any kind of guidance or help in this? Because presumably you're not the only county uh, that is experiencing this. Um, they're actually talking about issuing some guidelines, perhaps some model language, uh, but they're going through a, a committee process trying to reach that. And they suggested that they won't actually have language that you can just adopt. They're going to have some guidelines to help you develop your own. Um, that could take a long time, and it would probably still raise the same type of opposition. Basically, our critics are telling us they don't want our health officer to have any authority to enforce an order. So there, there won't be. I mean, is there any, do you have any remedy? Well, the board could choose to go ahead and, and adopt the necessary code language for the county over this act of objection. And I, I believe this is just a subgroup within the total county. I suspect there's a large body of people on the other side as well. But uh, it's very hard for a county board to make a decision if, if one side is very vocal and very prominent. And they're kind of, they've kind of been ginned up by some of the players. I know a lot of the people were told that we can invade their home and that uh, we could take their children out of their home if they have the sniffles. Th those exact words have been repeated to me numerous times. Well, mm -hmm. the language that was drafted had a reference in it. And that reference talked about having to either have permission to enter the home or having to have an inspection warrant issued by a court. But of course, people, lay people reading it, just read over those references. Well, uh, Mr. Harris, we, we wish you well as you try to work this out. Uh, and we also uh, hope that uh, your numbers will flatten out. Uh, Mark Harris, County Executive, uh, Winnebago County, thanks very much. Thank you.